Okay, Darren, so we're going to do a BIOS tour of my year 2000-ish uh, Abbott VP6 motherboard. Let's go. Powering it on. I'm going to press the delete key on the keyboard. And we go straight into the CMOS Setup Utility Award Software. I just thought I'd run through all the menus because this again this is a 2000 journal PC and let's see what we get on the year 2000. I'll, I'll try not to waffle on too much. This is a soft menu here. This allows you to do overclocking. Uh, you see we've got a Pentium 3 processor. We've got a dual processor system, which for the year 2000 was pretty, pretty unusual, I'd say. Um, you can change the clock multiplier here. You can do a custom. So you can change bus speed and clock speed. Come like that. Um, you see we've actually installed a solid state disk as the primary. Um, as in the previous video, I explained that you try to use two drives on this system with an IDE to SATA converter, because that's a SATA drive, you get nowhere. We can change the floppy drive to be any of these. So it could in principle connect a uh, five and a quarter inch floppy drive to the system without any issue. We can connect two drives. Um, I wish I couldn't get the system working and I had to go for F7 optimised defaults to get it working. It just wouldn't work at all. I don't know what had been changed. Uh, since it was my PC 20 years ago, I did uh, give it as a, uh, to somebody to use uh, a family, to, but uh, somehow we got set into it. Uh, so the, the, the point to notice is that if you change some of these things, these parameters, you can result in an unusable system. Parts chipset, memory timing. And this is the ATP graphics card settings here. Integrated peripherals, where well, we've got two IDE controllers for hard drives. We've got a USB controller. We've also got an, a second uh, RAID controller, um, which can, has two sockets that could take four drives. We've also got two serial ports which are disabled and a parallel port which is also disabled. Power management. Uh, PCI setup. It's got a PCI bus. You can, you can force that to enabled to do a rescan. Um, oh, health stats, so we can see the, because it's not just a two-wire fan, you can see the RPMs and the CPU temps. Fantastic. Okay, this concludes the BIOS tour. There's some other videos. There's a startup of XP video and some commentary videos as well. So please do look at those also.